around 1978, uh, we, we decided to leave. You know, we had a, well, there was an opening here at Cornell. John Miller had gone somewhere else. And I was lucky enough, after having resigned once from Cornell, to get back into Cornell. So uh, we took this opportunity to come back. And I remember shortly before we left, we outlined this book. You know, right. the, it's over here, the, uh, the Rice Economy of Asia. But I want to talk particularly about uh, you know, Beth Rose uh, and this appendix. Uh, and Beth Rose, uh, I, I don't know where I found her, but she was one of these people that, you know, a rare person that with great detail to data and to identifying where the data came from and so forth. And this appendix is hers, and I often thought that we, she should have been a joint author on the whole thing. Beth died of cancer when she was 40, uh, but it, this book is, is unique in the sense that it has data on production prices and so forth, some of it going back to 1900. And, and it goes up to 1982, and there's no, I mean, FAO, nobody else has the documentation and the detail and the data uh, that this book has, you know. So, uh, anyway, I, I think this is important to, to point yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the book itself uh, is, is sort of reflects the appendix. I mean, you know, yeah. as you said, you yeah. know, we should have had the appendix in the yeah, in the know. same thing. It would have been a lot better. Yeah. Because it's easy to lose the appendix. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you have the book, but uh, you know, I don't know. I think we started out on this on this effort thinking, well, you know, we've done all these papers, but most of them were in the gray literature. Yeah. Yeah. How we pushed for publication, but you and I were kind of lax, <laughs> and uh, you know we'd write these yeah. papers and they and they'd get out to the distribution channel, but they never, they never Not really got AJ published. Or something, yeah. So we said, okay, let's take all these papers, put them together in a book, uh, you know, and we'll have something for posterity. Well, it turns out we said, okay, we need varieties, Asian rice farming systems, trends in production, variety fertilizer, irrigation, mechanization. I mean, the topics were obvious, yeah. you know, and, and we'd worked on all of those topics over the years. Uh, so we said, well, just put them together. Well, so that was the outline. And you came, and we worked our way on it, and uh, we spent a couple of summers, actually, after you, after you came back. Here, yeah. we, we went up to some Cornell place on Lake George, remember? Yeah. And we, and we were working on this thing. Yeah. And our families were saying, what are those guys doing? Yeah. Uh, well, it turned out that you basically had to rewrite everything. I mean, the, you know, some basic concepts were there. But, you know, with Beth's, Beth's uh, data yeah. uh, and the basic concepts, it became clear that those first papers were just papers, you know. And so we had to rewrite it into the book. Um, and it was a great effort. Uh, I think it one took of seven years. Well, <laughs> something like that. Rome wasn't built in a day, <laughs> so That's uh, what it did. I remember when I got the word that uh, the book was actually out, um, long after I'd left Erie. Yeah. Uh, I left Erie in 1983, uh, and I joined the CGIR Secretariat as a science advisor. And at that point, I was in Liberia on an external review of the WARDA. Bob Chandler was the, uh, on that review, <laughs> along with Larry Stifel, oh, who yeah. was on the management review. Yeah. But anyway, I got a cable from uh, my boss at the time at the Secretariat who said, uh, congratulations, they've sent a copy of your book. So that was what, 84, or sometime 85. like that, 85. Yeah. So you're right, from 78 to 85, it, it did take a while. <laughs> but. Uh, I think it's a pretty good piece of work.